It's more than you think. Have you ever seen Underworld? Terrible. How many fucking vampires are out there? No. Uh, a lot. Oh, yeah, I have. Kate Beckinsale. That's the of one, course right? you've seen. Everyone's oh, fucking yeah. seen at least the first yeah, one. Yeah. That's the first one. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird that he was didn't rob whoever did this. Did not robbed her of her life and like blood. killed her, but didn't. If she had a, th- I don't know if a thousand was a lot at the time. It seems like it probably would be. Now, also the other thing that, like, we again, like, it's like the beastly thing we keep overlooking is like the unbelievable amount of drool saliva on yeah. this person's neck and that it's not a bite mark because that's i think that case runs wild with vampire because of the extinguination the no blood yeah and then you see the slide well, on this fucking the ladle, ladle right and the saliva on the neck it's like that they were just fo- frothing at the mouth over the site or whatever oh, that's so terrifying but there's no bite marks right there's no bite marks but Who's to say a vampire needs to bite you? To well, I was thinking, like, what other kind of... Well, he just fucking... You're, buddy, it's like uh, Temple of Doom with the chilled monkey brains. The head's already open. Yeah, well... well Served right? fresh. Just fucking cracked in his well, fucking I was thinking some sort of, like... Just... I don't know what kind of creatures do we know that could put their mouths over an entire head. So after they hit it, they're just... The right, they're just sitting there just like... Demi-Gorgon. Yeah, like Demi Gorgon style. Like, they're just latch on and they're just... <laughs> right? Extinguinate you. Maybe what just like a fucking yeah. Capri Sun, just fucking. Oh yeah, because I think if it's a if they're saying blunt force trauma, that means like downward yeah. pressure, right? So whatever, if this guy is some type of let's just you know, let's go a little wild. The guy's some type of cryptid, shapeshifter of some kind, some type. Yeah. Let's say. Oh yeah. Mouth could wrap around the back of the skull, but it's, it's some type of like xenomorph inner mouth would crush the skull inwards like a blunt force and then suck the blood out. Xenomorphs can't rule them out. Shapeshifter. It's just can't can't I'm just saying if I there's some, it, it needs, it can't be a bite because it'd be more noticeable. It's definitely blunt force, they said, so it's like been like crushed down, like it's been hit and hard. I just something. can't get over the fact, I just honestly cannot get over the fact that like the the lack of blood because it's not like yeah he cleans because I've read some things that like oh well he cleaned the apartment he probably cleaned all the blood and I'm like yeah but there wasn't a lot of blood on her clothes the sheets you know carpets nowhere right so it's like this blood seemingly vanishes where is the blood right? splatter where's the pattern right? so this is it's truly perplexing it's weird that like you, you think he'd spend all that time to fucking clean up all the blood you think she's getting murdered by fucking mr belvedere sure. like <laughs> folding her clothes putting a chocolate yeah, on the fucking pillow like makes a fucking towel elephant on the end of the bed yeah like there are so there there are quite like it goes into a little bit of detail for the other men that they did bring in like her her frequent flyers with customers call them and clientele. customers clientele and like maybe some that she had a little bit more of a relationship with that all got ru- uh, ruled out there was a little instance where this woman came forward her husband w- was a pimp and he came home on the night of Walpurgis covered in blood and this wife like kind of went forward to the police being like i think my husband's the fucking atlas vampire they were actually able to rule him out as well an alibi or something but nothing really like nothing really held any water. There was a lot of people speculated that possibly this was her ex husband, right? Because it does definitely sound like like this was planned, right? This was premeditated. They, they knew this her. guy didn't want to go for a fucking yeah. streetwalker. She like, would have recognized his voice, anything like that, right? Uh, yeah, right well, on the phone, like. Or yeah, unless you just, phones were not very good the back then for sound you production. You don't know me, but I know you. Um, also, some people speculate that maybe he was a law enforcement officer, given the fucking billy club and the fact that they were so meticulous with cleaning the, se- with the scene and not leaving behind any clues. It's true. Because whoever did but, it cleaned the scene, took the murder weapon with them, and all the blood evidence. Right. Blood. That's yeah. the, again, that's the, yeah, the weird. I, I saw the law enforcement thing, but I'm like, to be honest, I'm just like, how. I don't buy it either. What do you do with the blood? Like how? Like that's what I can't get. Like I can't wrap my head outside of some sort of su- supernatural avenue of where you're like, okay, how do I get the blood from someone's body? Because like you would think that too. Like you would have I don't know. like and Andrew, maybe you can help me that if I'm this wrong. If that's the only wound is the 
head, like you would have blood that would sit and in the legs, right? So, well, you there would be yeah. lividity, and that's kind of what they mentioned when they said that there was blood kind of like seeping in yeah. the bottom of her body. But that was like the least. That was a little bit like the tiny amount of blood yeah. that they were able to find. Right. So like to me, I'm like, it's then bizarre. it's like you're it's... putting this person upside down, or at least getting gravity to do some of the work to get this blood flow out. Right. It just doesn't. Well, naturally, at, over time, it's yeah. going to do it for you. Like that's what happens when you die, right? It all just pools to wherever, like if you're wherever you're laying, the blood. Yeah, but to get point. most of it out, you would yeah. think you would have to like, and you you have a head wound. Yeah, it's right. bizarre, man. I yeah, that, that's that's a good point because the, if it does pool to the lowest point, once the heart stops beating, there's gonna be there should be blood legs. left in like the lower appended lower appendages or like low well, the whole lower half of her body. So like she'd be laying flat, so it'd be her face, yeah. her chest, everything down her legs. Like it would right. all so be then pulled down. Something would have had to either lay her off the bed or her. pick her up and like hang her, almost right. I just can't get over how the fuck do you get the blood out of the body without, like, IV in her or anything, right? That's what doesn't make any sense. Bizarre, man. Super weird. I think there's only one possible explanation, and it is. Zelda did it. Zelda did it. 100%. Where were you in Zelda 1930s? Nope. Right. Show us the photos. Mm. Yeah, that's all. I've been living in Kelowna, B.C. since yeah. 1901. So you so. say. Right? Well, no one. No one. Hey, get there. It's it, impossible. It, you're yeah, a bat. Was, you can fly. You can't fly across there was the ocean. Reports. Why not? You in can't. this case, the, one of the about? other weird things is no one reported <laughs> seeing anyone leaving the, of note. And I was like, that's because it was Zell, and he turned into a bat, left out the window. Out the window. Someone flew right? out the window. Someone someone, well, it's possible that someone flew out the window. That's 100% but possible. It's, it's, yeah. Well, here, listen. It, it was also ground, the ground floor. <laughs> she lived on the ground floor, so they could yeah. just pop out the yeah. window and fucked off. But I just, uh, again, it's... it's, it's it, 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 it's crazy because it, yeah, nine, it's nine p.m. when she checks on her, and if let's let's hypo, hypothetically say it was the guy who's ordering the double steak just after nine, that's still like at, on a party night. There's people everywhere. You probably wouldn't even notice a guy leave a building and be a suspicious. No, yeah. Walpurgis. 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 What are you party. doing? What are you doing with Walpurgis. you know upwards of three four liters of blood? Right. Obviously, and and by all accounts, at least Drank sipping it. a little before you leave. You had a couple. Of, what I I want to say that that was just left as kind of like a calling card, right? Because it, I I will agree this this whole thing looks like a spectacle. Like when when you read it, it, like to me, I'm like, this is someone laid out a spectacle for authorities. Someone so wanted much to effort though. Yeah, someone wanted to put this amount amount of effort for a case that will linger. For almost a hundred, like it was almost a yeah. hundred years ago, like, and people are still crazy. talking about how crazy this case is. So sad, pretty wild, well, sad. She really yeah. deserved better. She did deserve Absolutely better. Deserved better. She just hard working lady. And, uh, entrepreneur. and with what was left of the scene, they say yeah, that like better. nowadays we would have, they would have most likely solved this case and figured out who it was had we had, for yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Think, think about all the yeah. DNA evidence. Well, just DNA surveillance of the area. The, the, the way more to go on but back then yeah he, for, whoever did yeah, it they didn't throw that condom on ice back then <laughs> well we yeah. could have sorted it out now right got to the bottom of it yeah 23 and me could have yeah. caught his ancestors right exactly same thing what we did with the golden gate killer whatever whoever <laughs> golden state, gold killer, state right? killer that's how yeah. we got him so yep. it's uh yep. you know it's one of those things where it's 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 too bad but if you could go back in the past, maybe maybe time traveler, right? Maybe that's why they did too much cleaning. Well, I, we never nobody said it. Maybe it was the aliens. Right? How do you know it was an alien? We don't know. It wasn't. We have no idea. But that's not, that's not their it, mo. It though. doesn't. Not, not why not? Maybe this is they wanted to study blood. I just feel like you could have. There was probing. Obvious evidence of probing yeah. as well. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's, You're not wrong. There's it, you wrong. got us on a technicality there. You got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, I don't know. It's they usually put the people back after they abduct and medical. Well, experiment. they did. They tried putting her back, but they accidentally nicked yeah. her head. They dropped all her all the way down. Yeah, and she got it, and they're like, oh, "Shit, put some pillows on it." <laughs> it's really too bad that because I would have loved to find out. I could have a nice bow on this one and be like, "It's that." But there's still to this day, it's a mystery. We have Completely no idea how it was done. We have no idea why. 
All we know is that someone seemingly murdered her, drained her of her blood, and drank at least some of it and left with the other. And that's all we got to go on. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments. What do you think happened to Lily? Uh, you know, do you, what's your knowledge of cryptids and stuff? Is it something uh, specific to yeah, the area? Maybe that we don't know about. Don't let know us about. know uh, if you think you know how someone would have done it. Let us know in the comments. Shoot us a message. Uh, we want to know. We want to hear from you. Hell yeah. Weird case. Weird fucking case all around. Dan, what do you think? All right. All right. Anyways. Last That's one, it. buddy. We're done. Last, Last one, one, promise. Last one. Until next murder month. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that may be. Yeah. Which is in December, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This week's theory of the week. I'm going to change it up just as a little, a little bit of awareness, I would oh. say. Just something that... Uh, it was two years ago today we lost a great man, Zach Watson, one of our brothers from high school. Um, great childhood friend who would probably be part of the podcast if it's not for his addiction to alcohol uh, and his problems with mental health. It's tough, to, <laughs> it's tough to say, man. Yeah. So if you got a friend who you've kind of lost touch with and you know they're having a hard time, I think you should reach out because that's something I kind of regret from back in the day. Yeah, reach out, make the effort. I mean, you never know when it's you're not going to be able to. So, and every Absolutely. every group of friends, they all got someone, maybe not as far gone as our friend Zach was at the time, but they might be there if you don't uh, don't say something. So, this week's theory of the week is Zach. I know you're looking down on us from wherever that may be, and I hope you're having a good time, brother. We miss you. All right, if you're not supporting the show, support your boys in their quest for a full yeah. head of hair. We've given out, we've given up on all other reasons That's it. to join Patreon. There's no other reason for to, to do it. Yeah, there's no other reason other than like get rid of this. Get rid we of this. Can't fucking... all look the same. We need hair. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> we need I guarantee factors. you, uh, you make this happen for us. Andrew's gonna have an afro. I will have a full Jerry curl. Uh, yeah, hair grows it's, up. So it's <laughs> just help us out. Come on, yeah, now help us regrow the hair and help us become full-time podcasters. So we can bring you more amazing content for years yes, and years to come. Yeah, first. Hey, <laughs> no, listen, it's we're on straight yeah. to hair club for the boys. That's, okay. that's the plan. Yeah, the four trip. heads, four the heads of hair in a movie. That's when we're stopping. There we go. <clears throat> that's the end of the pod. This week's new supporters, we got Frankie Clifton, Eric Kaiser, Mike Stokes, Cell Flipperacci, and Uriel Medin. And as we say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the skies. See you in after hours. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.